Okay, so this video is about um, setting up a professional geek um, setup with uh, the iPad. Um, professional geek meaning that you can, you know, uh, you have a good sound and this is ensured by the good uh, audio interface. I'm not using, you know, the internal um, built-in microphone of, of the iPad. And professional also because, you know, you are completely powered and you don't need to, you know, uh, have uh, some uh, <clears throat> fear about losing power and uh, in the middle of your gig not having any sound anymore. So basically the components that you need, uh, you need some kind of, you know, um, a MIDI keyboard. Uh, in, my, in my case, it's, a, it's the Akuna right uh, the studio logic akuna and uh, you see that uh, basically we could have a, a powering of the akuna here also but uh, what i'm going to show is you know the akuna itself is also powered here through the usb so you don't need a specific uh, additional uh, wall plug uh, for uh, powering your your midi device so uh, on this we see all the components so obviously you have your ipad in this case it's a uh, um, ipad pro uh, with with um, a lightning uh, connector um, obviously if uh, you have an ipad pro or, or a newer ipad air with um, usb-c uh, you won't need this adapter which i will uh, talk about but basically this one needs because um, there's no direct USB-C connection, but uh, a lightning connection. So you need some kind of a device here to, you know, to convert your um, lightning into some kind of USB connection. Okay, so you have your iPad. You have uh, here um, your um, class compliant audio interface. In my case, it's a complete audio six, but I mean, any uh, class compliant um, interface that you can find will do it uh, basically if as long as it has some kind of professional good sounding output and as long as it can be powered um, by in this case by the USB maybe you might have a interface which has its own power source but in this case we are also powering the um, complete audio 6 through the USB then what you need is uh, some kind of a powered USB uh, hub. And this is important, powered meaning that, you know, the hub itself is powered by some kind of external source. And uh, this here is uh, powered by a AC adapter um, and it's powering the USB. And by that, it's powering all the rest, right? Except the iPad, which I will explain. So. That's the components that you need. So you have your keyboard, you have your in audio interface, you have your powered USB hub, uh, you have your iPad, you have your AC adapter. And the last component that you might need, in my case, I need it because I have, like I said, I have um, a lightning port, um, is this USB to, um, lightning it's called the photo adapter or something like that or usb 3 uh, to lightning adapter and it has two plugs one is the usb which we will see how we connect it to the usb, USB hub and the second one is um, that you have here also a lightning cable and through a power adapter you can power your ipad so you don't have to uh, you'd be afraid to lose um, power because uh, during your gig you're co always connected to uh, AC and never have to fear about you know, running out, draining your battery and running out of power. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect uh, the AC adapter to my Speedlink uh, active or powered USB hub. So when I plug it in, I'm getting here um, indication that it is powered. Next is uh, once I have power of on my uh, hub, 
to my USB hub uh, I'm going to connect my audio interface complete audio 6 so I plug in the USB um, on my device on my complete and the other side of the USB cable I'm plugging it into uh, my power USB so as you can see I have now uh, the lights going up on my complete uh, the USB is flashing because I have no connection uh, of um, the complete audio to any device except to my hub but the hub itself is not connected to anything yet that's why it's powered up but it's flashing next I'm going to connect my Akuna um, Studio Logic Akuna 88 uh, MIDI keyboard uh, through this blue USB cable to my power top giving power to my Akuna and as we can see it is powered up so th the Akuna gets also its power from the USB hub which itself gets the power through the AC outlet the next thing is that I will connect uh, my iPad uh, to a power source also as I said do not get out of power during my gig and for that I need uh, an adapter of, of Apple which is called the lightning to USB 3 uh, adapter which is pretty expensive but this one allows you uh, to connect through lightning um, a lightning power adapter so you have then the USB but you have also the lightning and so uh, you can power um, your iPad using the lightning input of your adapter so when I connect this I see that um, my um, iPad is actually powered up next is that I will connect uh, my USB up to the lightning to USB 3 connector so now basically I have a connection um, between um, my iPad and any kind of device uh, USB device so basically as you can see now the USB uh, light of my uh, complete is little uh, is lightning permanently now this means that now I have a USB connection and basically uh, I have now uh, as well as uh, my complete audio 6 as my Akuna through this blue USB cable connected to um, my iPad okay one more optimization you could envisage is that um, <clears throat> instead of connecting you know the power uh, through the adapter uh, with the help of a wall plug or of a standard USB wall plug or the original uh, iPad <laughs> you could if if your um, USB uh, powered USB supports that, you could actually really use the USB uh, powered hub like here, for example, this TP Link, and connect you know through the standard USB to Lightning cable, connect your powered USB to um, your USB to Lightning connector, and then you would actually power the iPad directly from uh, the USB hub 
you would then avoid to have an additional you know plug um, AC plug uh, wall plug to to be hooked up so this is one more thing depending on uh, your USB hub and how strong you know how much power the the USB hub can deliver uh, you could actually optimize your setup uh, like this by just you know connecting uh, the power supply to the USB hub and and thus uh, you know providing power to the iPad in this way. Concerning um, if you have a newer iPad with a USB-C connector, as you can see, I have again my TP-Link uh, USB hub powered again here. Um, and what simplifies it is, of course, that you, then you have only one cable um, going from your hub to your iPad. And then from here, you can go you know, to your interface, whatever it is, to your audio interface and to your keyboard, whatever keyboard that is. And you can power your interface um, and your keyboard through this power uh, USB, of course. Um, this is possible um, also with this uh, other powered USB, but again, it is powered. One uh, issue that you might have, at least I have it, is that, um, you know, using this setup, um, the iPad is not powered, all right? And so you might run into the um, <clears throat> problem that your iPad drains the, its own battery and then in the middle of your gig you out of power so to provide uh, this help what I do is I have a, uh, an additional small USB C hub connected to my iPad and as you can see the power of the iPad is then provided through a USB power input and of course the standard USB uh, to my USB uh, 3 or power top is, is uh, going to a USB A connector. So this is one way uh, that you could actually um, provide power to your iPad. So this concludes my video about uh, connecting uh, iPads to uh, an audio interface or a <coughs> keyboard. Uh, MIDI keyboard. Uh, if you feel like uh, this was a helpful video for you, please feel free to press the thumbs up button and uh, feel also free to uh, subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks a lot to tune in and uh, see you around. See you next time. Thanks a lot.